You all right, Dan? Having a nice day, are you? Okay, day two, walk in. Yep. Day three of the week, because we spent all day yesterday huddled in the tent after, what, 24 hours of rain? Yeah, it's a bit different today. So we're leaving Corbett Camping. What do you think of the site? Nice site, yeah, yeah very nice. Yeah, it's good. Excellent showers, very friendly staff. Yep. Cool. Yep. Okay, so we're going to walk that way we are. to Keswick. Talk to you later. Oh, I forgot my camera. <laughs> <laughs> so after all the rain yesterday, lovely sunny day today, uh, we're promised some showers this evening, but there shouldn't be anything between now and then. So we're just leaving Corbeck, as good a place as any to spend 24 hours in the tent waiting for the rain to stop. But today's adventure takes us up over High Pike, which is the only way right on the route. Um, off to Lingi Hut, if you know your lakes at all. And then down the gill to the track that goes to take us round to Skiddle House. And then from Skiddle House, we're in the side of, I think it's Long, Long Scale File. And then down into Keswick. It's about 16, 16 and a half miles, something like that. Uh, 2,919 feet of ascent, according to the guidebook. So we'll see how we get on. And there in front of us is High Pike. That's today's target, or first target, up over that. And looking at that, I can see we really made the right decision not to go up there yesterday. <laughs> we couldn't see it yesterday. So we're just leaving like the farmland at the north of the lakes, heading into the Lake District National Park proper. And our first fell, High Pike, the only wane right on the track. So I'm gonna put the camera away for a bit and while we struggle at this, <laughs> and I'll talk to you later. Right, so we'll have five minutes here and then I am definitely putting the camera away and we're gonna go to the top of High Pike. And I'll talk to you when we get there. I'll turn around this way because the wind's come up. We're at the top of High Pike now. Uh, just looking at the view, I'll show you around. Top, top. There's Linda, looking lovely as always. So I think that's Burke Moss over there. Great Lingi. Coming around. Skid of course, Little Man. Long scale fell. Right in the very background is Halvelin. And over here, Blencathra. Uh, Bannerdale Crags, Bow Scale, and here Carrick Fell, and there's the Eden Valley and the rest of Cumbria. So we made it to Lingi Hut. Welcome, Refuge. A lot of you would have seen this before. But, uh, logbook, we'll sign in a minute. Brush. Some nice pads people have left behind. And there you go. Lingy hat. Good view out the window. We've got to go down by there. Mm, we'll see. Right, on the way down from Lingy hut down through this gill. Lovely uh, grassy path down this far. Pretty good stream going down, which you can't quite see yet, but we're told that it gets really boggy farther on down, so we'll see. It's a lovely little gill, isn't it? So it's quarter to 12. Mm -hmm. Tired yet? I'm okay. You're okay. You? Uh, yeah, I didn't like coming down that steep bit of grass. No. Not because well, because it's steep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. huh. So we just got to get down to the road there and then hoik along the valley. 
So, anyway, we'll get on down and I think we're going to have lunch at the bottom. Yeah, yeah get and done. Probably dry out at the same time. <laughs> we'll let you know. Come on then. How are you doing? Tired. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's not the best walking, is it, this road? No, it's hard. You think. Never mind. We'll manage. I suspect you can tell from my face that I'm a bit tired. We just had a break. Sausage roll. Good long drink. Uh, so I think we're probably about somewhere between two and three miles from Skiddle House now. Steady stream of people going back the other way. None of them really with large backpacks, so it didn't look like they're uh, Cumbrian way walkers. Yeah, just one couple. Uh, so we'll crack on and, yeah, stop at Skiddle House for another break. And then down into Keswick to try and get in before the shop shut. <laughs> so we're halfway there then, is that what you're saying? <laughs> Great. Another one of those iconic Cumbria Way landmarks, the circular sheep pen. I haven't seen it on other people's uh, videos. I thought it was closer to Skiddle House. Apparently not. We're about between eight and nine miles in, over a halfway on our way to Skiddle House and then around the Lynn side of Lund Scale, down past Latterig, into Keswick and a pint. Finding it hard today. I think the uh, the jaunt up high pipe took it more out of our legs than we'd imagined. But uh, anyway, plugging on. And another circular sheep pen. See, it's only us that tells you there's two of them. Ah, oh, yeah. Finally getting towards Skiddle House. There's a long old drag, it's three and a half miles from where we got to the mine to here. Felt more like twelve and a half. But we'll crack on. Crack on cracking on as they say. And that last bit was really hard. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh. So what have we done? Nine and a half miles. Feels like a lot more than that. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Good view from this hostel though. Yeah. So we've got Skiddle House behind us. In front of us. I'm not sure what the pointy one is, to be honest. The one in the background is Carrick Fell. And I think that must be the back of Banner. Oh, and probably that's Mungersdale Common. Oh, yeah, it could be, couldn't it? Yeah, and then Blencathra and Sharp Edge in relief up there. If I'd ever thought about it, mm -hmm. I would have made Blencathra my last rain Yeah. Instead of the first one. <laughs> right, have a drink. You're going to eat your brownie or are you too tired for that? I think I'm at mine, yeah. Okay, we'll have a brownie. And then a drink and then start the downward leg. Yep. Okay. Uh. Oh, just a bit of a kicker. Going underneath long scale, a steep, well, short, I guess, but not that short, rocky climb up to where we are. Just about finished me off. <laughs> oh dear, definitely feeling my age today. So there's Linda leading as always, and then we've got this huge 
valley down below us. Tumbling streams coming down off Blencathra. I am knackered, but it's pretty special out here, let's be honest. Oh, looking at the Halvelian range now in front of us, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, special. So we just come around the corner, it's Clough Head over there, Halvelin Range, Walla Crag over Derwent Water, Cat Bells, Maidenmoor High Spy, Grisdale Pike, I mean you name them, we can see them, beautiful. So we've made it to Keswick then. Quite sore, I've got a sore shoulder. Both of us got sore feet and uh, achy calves. But uh, look at the view that we've got out of our tent door. Grisdale Pike over the back there. There's cat bowels. Uh, the one on the end is High Spy, I think it's Claramara over there, I'm not sure. Castle Crag. And coming round and behind the trees, Walla Crag. We're both absolutely knackered though. Tomorrow um, we get to walk all along the lake there. And down to Rosswaite, up through Langstrath, over Stake past the Langdale. Looking forward to that. Of course, we're back in the lake, so I know where we are, know where we're going, understand the place. So cool. Yeah, nice. Lovely site, however, pretty expensive. £32.50 for the night. There's Linda, as ever, huddled in the tent. <laughs> yeah, cool. Day two, how did that go? Um, it was long, um, hard at times. Glad to get here. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long way from like Carrot Mine to Skiddle House, wasn't it? Was it was a long way, yeah. Getting a pie pie, that wasn't too bad. No, no, that was okay. Glad right. I did it at the beginning of the day. Yeah. We were done, weren't we? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so day two success? Yeah, yep. it's done.